Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. Hughes and welcome to what is a Dr. Hughes World War II special and I am here at Hooton Park which is a airfield which was used during World War I and World War II. approaches HQ that was used in World War II for the Battle of the Atlantic against Nazi forces where um, 
basically this area would say send information to the RAF and to the Royal Navy that the uh, jellies were around the corner and then that's when they go and intercept and take them out. I say, oh chap, could you ask the jellies to keep it down out there? I am trying to sleep. There is a lot to see here. It's a, it's a labyrinth. I know it says it's a labyrinth on the website, but wow, it is a labyrinth. So come down to Liverpool, Western Approaches HQ, and come and check this out. Your ticket's valid for a year as well. And while this was all going on down here underground, deploying boats and the Royal Navy, the Royal Air Force and tracking enemy movements in the Atlantic above is a completely different story for the residents of Liverpool.
On the outskirts of the city, in an estate next to a railway bridge, lies some dragon teeth. Fearful of a German invasion, anti-tank blocks were placed there, which is really cool. A little hidden gem. Anyway, that's the uh, end of the Liverpool part of the vlog. Now it's time to move on. Welcome to Basildon Park. It's fantastic here. This house is amazing. I'm, the, I'm outside Reading, south of England, on a gorgeous spring day. So the house was active during World War II, as it's in the south of England. It was requisitioned by the army. Canadian troops, American troops and British troops have stayed on these premises. And it also housed 300,000 German prisoners of war. And then prisoners of war were then sent to London and other places to begin reconstruction of the damage that they caused.
Well, I have returned to the Boat Museum. I was here last uh, last year, I think it was. Um, it was one of my recent um, series of Doctor Who's Presents, but I've come back because there is a World War II uh, reenactment day going on, which is fantastic. There's going to be live machine gun fire, which I'll be showing, and there's going to be people walking around to military get up, as you can see, there's cars and stuff like that. And it's a great day, sun shining. Yeah, it's all good. A vacation in a foreign land. Uncle Sam does the best he can. You're in the army now.
Beaton or Eden Camp. And it is amazing. There is so much to see. And every building like this house prisoner of war and they've changed changed them into exi um, exhibits some are a bit moving but yeah some are really informative and some are uh, really interesting in depth I would come to this place there's lots to see I'm like, I'm about halfway through and there's still loads more.